Hi, welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, we are going to work on dividing a two-digit number by a one-digit number using repeated subtraction. Let's first work on small numbers like 12 divided by 3. 12 in this problem is called the dividend and 3 is the divisor. We use repeated subtraction so that we should be able to divide 12 by 3. We start subtracting 12 minus 3 equals 9. 9 minus 3 equals 6. We continue subtracting until we get to 0 or to a number less than the divisor. Less than the divisor. So 6 minus 3 equals 3. And finally, 3 minus 3 equals 0. How many times did we subtract? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we can write down that 12 divided by 3 equals 4. The number of times that we subtracted is the result of our problem. Or we can say 4 is the quotient of this division problem. Let's now work on the bigger numbers. Over here, I have 54 divided by 4, 82 divided by 6, and also 98 divided by 7. 54, let's first write 54 over here. We are looking for a number that should be multiplied by 4 and give us a two digit number that ends in 0. What number times 4 ends in 0? 10 times 4 is equal to 40. Now, if we subtract 40 from 54, it means we subtracted 4 10 times. We subtracted 4 10 times. So 54 minus 40, 4 minus 0 is 4, and 5 minus 4 is 1. We should not forget the subtraction sign over here. So again, 14 is left here. What number times 4 gives us a number that is either 14 or less than 14? So 4 times 3 is giving us 12. We cannot get a number that should be multiplied by 4 and give us 14. So we will take the one which is giving us a product which is very close to 14. So 12 is very close to 14. Now 14 minus 12 is equal to 2. Seeing that 2 is less than 4 and we cannot subtract 4 anymore. How many times did we subtract 4 from 54? We subtracted 13 times. 10 plus 3 is 13. So 13 is the answer. We can write 54 divided by 4 equals 13. So we used repeated subtraction and we subtracted 4 from 54 13 times. We now move to the next example. In the next example, we have 82 divided by 6. 82 divided by 6. Again, we look for a number that should be multiplied by 6 and give us a two-digit number that ends in 0. So 10 times 6 is 60. If we subtract 60 from 82, we will get, okay, 2 minus 0 is 2 and 8 minus 6 is also 2. Now, we again look for a number that should be multiplied by 6 and give us either 22 or a number close to 22. Okay, 3 times 6 is 18, 4 times 6 is 24. So if you multiply 4, uh, or if we subtract 6 from 22 4 times, we cannot subtract it because uh, 24 is more than 22. 
So, we subtract 3 times. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. Now, 22 minus 18, 22 minus 18 is equal to 4. How many times did we subtract 6 from 82? We subtracted 13 times. So, randomly, the answer for this is also 13. 18, 82 divided by 6 equals 13. In the third example, we have 98 divided by 7. 98 divided by 7. Again, we look for a number that should be multiplied by 7 and gives us a number that ends in 0. So 10 times 7 is 70. 98 minus 70 is equal to Okay, 8 minus 0 is 8, and 9 minus 7 is 2. Now, we look for a number that should be multiplied by 7 and gives us a number that is either 28 or a number less than 28. 7 times 4 is 28. So, 28 minus 28 is 0. We don't have any remainder. So, how many times did we subtract 7 from 98? We subtracted 14 times. 10 plus 4 is 14. So, the answer is 14. In the first problem, which is 54 divided by 4, we got 2 as remainder. So, we write R2. In the second problem, in which we divided 82 by 6, we have 4 as the remainder. And 4 is the remainder because it is less than 6 and we cannot subtract 6 from 4. So we take it as remainder and write R4. In the third example, we don't have any remainder. The number left behind is 0 and 0 cannot be taken as remainder. So the answer for the problem number 3 is 40. This is all about our today's lesson, which is dividing two-digit number by one-digit number. I hope it helps you learn how to divide using repeated subtraction. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section under this video. Have a nice time and thank you so much.